Hi, this is Mary Flower again, and I'd like to give you some tips on how I keep track of my altered trading cards. I like to not only keep ra record on the backs of them, because some of them I have sent them out to other people, but I also like to keep record of them for myself. Now, my friend gave me a very beautiful book. She was a female clay artist, and as you can see, her work is just beautiful. And I really liked this book, so I, at the time, wondered what I was going to use it for. And I decided to use it to keep record of all my artist trading cards. And eventually, I think I'd like to take a picture and make books of pictures of my older trading cards for my posterity. So at first, uh, when I was first doing all their trading cards, and I've been doing them since 2011, I've done 2,500 or more since then, I didn't keep good track of them at first. And then if you'll notice, there's some places that are empty. But as time went on, I, I and when I started putting them in this book, then I started keeping really meticulous um, record of them. And I, this is to cover something personal, but here I'm doing it in purple so you can see uh, most of these are just written in another. I'm going to show you six altered trading cards that I did several days ago and how I record them in here. If you'll notice in here, the number is only up to 317, but when you consider that most of these trading cards I did I, anywhere from 3 to 22 of the same kind, it really adds up fast. So, and I figured it came to over 2,500 cards, and even the number, even though the number is only up to 317. And you'll see why right here I have made six paper art doll ATCs, and they all have their little tails that move. And they fold up into this size so that they can all fit into the baseball card protectors, like so. Because they're still three and a half by two and a half. And on these, I put um, this. It's called Diamond Glaze. And I put them on all of the tails. This one... She is one of six, number 317, and she's Sir Mermaid Seaweed. Here's another one. This one is Mermaid Periwinkle, and her tail also moves. This is Princess Scallop. This, in, it, this one is Princess Cuttlefish. This is Mermaid moon, sh moon Snail, and her little tail moves as well. And this one is Mermaid Mollusca, like a mollusk, and her tail moves as well, if you can see those. And so what I did was I went over here. Now, these are all similar, but they're also O-O-A-K, which stands for one of a kind. And so I put them in. This is one of six, two of six, three of six, and so on. And they all have O-O-A-K, which means there's each one of these are one of a kind. But there is this many in this series. And so they all get the number 317. I've just numbered them here. They're one of six and so forth. So that's how I put them in here. And let me just show you again how cute these are. Their little tails fold up. So that is how I keep record of all my altered trading cards. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a good comment, please. And uh, please check out my free giveaways. Thank you.